Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So I have a lot of energy tonight that I wanted to expel and this is this reading is for cycles that are ending and what is beginning. How I'll have this labeled is just we'll worry about that later. But we have three piles in front of us. We have pile number one with the earphones. We have pile number two with the pencil. And we have pile number three with the key. So whichever one resonates with you, I'll have the timestamps in the description. So let's go ahead and hop into pile number one. All right, so pile number one. So if you chose these beautiful earphones for the bit, this is your reading. I personally enjoy those a lot more than anything else, to be honest. They're very comfortable for my ears. We have the ginormous unicorn here. That is what we're starting off with. Does it doesn't mean anything negative, so don't take it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into the tarot cards to really get an idea of what's going on. Okay. So we have the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Cups already here. So, okay, yeah, it's kind of verified. So some, definitely some previous manipulation that may have been happening by you or by people around you. So, it's been self-destruction within you and <coughs> all right that was not meant to happen but we have self-destructive behaviors done by you due to words of other people manipulation from the past definitely so the cycle that is ending for my pile number ones is this need for the control this need for control with the emperor card here was caused by people in the past who have um, with this, the devil here, it's symbolic of the lovers, but the lovers are now chained. This is also about codependency. So you may have had a codependent parent or parents who kind of pushed a lot onto you when you were very, very young. They may have tried to tear you down constantly to make themselves feel better, or even so you wouldn't rise out of them. It was like these parents were kind of just like, no, we want you to be here. We need you here. And you guys definitely were like, yeah, no, buddy, not today. It took you some time, because we do have that two of swords here. So there was a bit of indecision, but you guys did rise out of it. These parents came in with this false sense of, you know, I'm an adult, I'm here, I'm in control. But in actuality, they were trying to control you and keep you captive with that eight of swords. And you guys subconsciously started mimicking that behavior from a very, very young age. And with this Queen of Cups here, this person came in with this Queen of Cups energy, so it could have very well been a mother. But we also have the Emperor here, so it could have been both parents. But definitely um, female energy here. Try to use love against you, being like, I love you, I'm here for you, can't you see? But in actuality, it was all a ruse, it was all a lie with that devil card. This person was had very bad intentions towards you, because of things that happened in their past that they were not addressing. With this two of swords here, for a long time you guys felt stagnant, especially in this relationship or relationships with these people or person here. So you guys were really striving to escape from this energy. For a few of you, it could have been friends in the past as well, take as it resonates. But definitely there was some stuck energy that you guys managed to free yourself from eventually because you guys started manifesting it. You may have manifested a move, manifested friends who would be there for you and stick up for you. And these people did come in in time as you got older, freed you from a lot of this. And now you're in this state where you are creating this whole new mentality with that prince or knight of swords, where you guys are trying to rebuild yourselves to be even stronger. Okay. We have everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired butt up. 
and handle it. So it is definitely your time to shine, you guys. It is definitely your time to rise out of this energy. It is definitely your time to step into your power. You guys, the cycle that is ending is this subconscious negativity from this person or even this person's control over you subconsciously. So you guys now are stepping into your power, stepping into your spotlight. It is now your turn. Now you're going to take control of your life. So that is a good cycle to end, you guys. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it effing is. So this is your sign, you guys. It's time for you to get out of this. Or you may already have. Especially if you have been crying before even watching this. Or you may have felt a bit numb. That was you stepping out of this energy completely, you guys. For some of you guys, you may even be even more happy. And we have stuff could be so much worse. And this is talking about how that person kind of held you down with that subconscious negativity. Oh, it could be worse. You know, you could have a parent who doesn't love you. You could have a friend who hates you. Like this person just used emotional manipulation to get you where they wanted you. And you guys are ending that cycle now where you're saying enough is enough. I'm done. Which is awesome, you guys. Which is probably why we have this earphones and this ginormous unicorn where you guys may have tried to eat away your feelings, which is completely okay. Or you may have also tried to um, not eat away your feelings. So that case we have diet disorders as well. So however that resonates with you. But with the earphones here, this is saying that now you guys are having selective hearing. So you guys are no longer focusing on this person, their energy, their bull crap. And you guys are choosing to put the earphones in whenever this person speaks because you know now that it is your time to shine. It is This is your sign saying, hey, it's time to get out of this stuff or hey, you have ended all of this stuff. Now it's time for you to take care of yourself. In which case, I'm proud of you. Yeah, we have dance like nobody is watching. So you guys definitely are on a whole different energetic sign here where you guys are just like, yep, nope, I'm happy and I deserve to be happy and I'm going to continue to be happy. And we have scream baby. So this is you guys screaming out your previous frustrations. This is you guys screaming your favorite song. This is you guys pushing away these people no longer listening to what they have to say whatsoever and i'm thinking of you so this person is thinking of you though it's not anything positive just letting you know now um, but they, you could also be thinking about this person and thanking them for being the horrible people they were because it taught you how to be the amazing person that you are yeah overwhelm take a breath so Definitely for you guys, have you guys have ended this cycle. It may be a bit overwhelming. Remember to take a breath, you guys. And on that note, let's get into your self-care messages. This is a very short message, you guys. I think all my videos are going to have pretty short messages, to be honest. I have pretty clear and concise messages. All right, so what self-care can you guys delve into to help you feel even better at the end of this cycle. <sighs> I just thought lubrication, and when I thought it, flow like water. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is, wow, okay, you guys. This is about allowing things to flow in. Okay, so when I thought lubrication, we also have sex. Oh, oh, double standard there. Boom. Okay, sorry. That was not expected at all. We have flow like water and sex. So self-care, you guys. Self-care. This is all for the realm of self-care. All right, so we have flow like water, which is about being in the flow of the universe, surrendering and trusting the universe, and watch a movie. Take some time to just relax and watch a movie, you guys. That's as good as anything. When you flow like water, you're not even paying attention to what's happening behind the scenes. 
And when you're, whenever you're watching a movie, you're focused in on that movie. You're no longer wondering, what, but what if this, what if that? So definitely take some time for self. Watch a movie, have some fun, binge watch a show, do you. Just escape from reality for a little while. And then we also have alone time. So definitely watch a movie alone or with the pet. All right. And then we have sex coming up again, you guys. So, <laughs> pile number one. I hope this resonated with you. If it did resonate with you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading or guidance in terms of your life goals, I will have those details linked in the description. And if you would like to donate to the channel, go ahead and do so. It is not expected of you, but I would greatly appreciate it. All right. I love you all and have a good rest of your night. Bye. All right. Hello, pile number two. So if you chose pile number two or the green pencil, this is your reading. So your unicorn card is targeted destruction. All right. Before whew, we say anything, let's get into the cards. Ah, we have the ten of wands, which is very symbolic of moving on. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, which is about abundance and comfort. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, which is literally about emotional fulfillment. Okay, what I'm getting here is that things are starting to fall into your lap. If they have not, they're starting to going to, because uh, this is a cycle you are ending. So this is more of what is coming for you guys, or what may have already happened. We will see. Let me pull a few more cards here. Scoop these on up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. We have the Three of Cups repeating, you guys. So I feel very strongly like self-sabotage in terms of friendships or close relationships with others because we have the ten of wands but then we also have the nine of swords and then we have the king of pentacles but we also have the nine of wands and then we have the nine of cups and the three of cups both of which are repeat the three of cups is repeating we literally have 9933 so if that resonates with you go ahead and look up that number stop wait a minute okay what are you then we have justice as well for you guys. Okay. With the two of cups at the bottom. So what I'm getting here is a bit of self-sabotage in the past. That's why it's targeted destruction. Where you guys in the past may have been very terrified of moving on and trusting people. Especially after you've been hurt in the past. Um, you guys want to be comfortable you want to be abundant you want to be emotionally fulfilled but with this nine of wands and this nine of swords here it's like a lot of the time you guys step in the way of your own blessings in fear of what if and that's the cycle that's coming to an end where you guys are going to let things flow now you're no longer going to have have worries or fears or you may have them but now you're going to start challenging them and when I'm getting that, the reason for this is actually due to these three of cups repeating. It's your friend groups, the changing of friends. You guys have whole new different people in your life who support you for who you are, who love you who, for who you are now. You guys no longer surround yourself with people who perpetuate this, these worries and these fears. And with this justice card, this is the universe giving you the justice you deserved. In the very beginning, you guys just didn't have the best of luck with people. You guys energetically searched for people who tore you down as there was subconscious programming tearing you down, making you feel that you were less, making you feel that you didn't deserve anything. And that's where that is shifting energetically. So you may have been crying or having sleepless nights and it's because this energy has been shifting in your favor. So now you have people who are really there for you, people who aren't abandoning you. And now you have all of this energy being pent up and released. And with this justice card again, things are starting to be more balanced in your life. 
where when something bad happens, you no longer dwell in it. You're just like, okay, something bad happened. Let's move on. Like, you guys are changing entirely. We have they are. So this is the universe confirming, saying you are changing entirely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are giving away your power. When you guys um, went into this old way of thinking, it was definitely with perpetuated by people surrounding you. And these people were taking away your power and they didn't want you to be happy because they weren't happy. So at that time, you were giving away your power, but that is coming to an end, you guys. You guys are no longer giving away your power. Oh, and then oh, turn it around. It says, drink a smoothie, unfriend that a-hole, and throw some stuff out. So definitely you guys have a whole new friend group because you guys cleansed out your friend group. Um, it says, get some, give some. It will cheer your butt up at the bottom of the deck. So you guys definitely have friends who give and who, who give and receive positive energy. So they no longer tear you down. They want you to be emotionally fulfilled now. These are the type of people you are welcoming into your life. And this is what's been helping you end this cycle. So, Apple. <laughs> Apple. Okay, Apple is definitely symbolic of Adam and Eve when they first partook of the apple and of the, the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. And they realized they... they well, in a sense, they realized they were of sin. Um, they realized that they were naked. They they realized so many things. And with this, this is very much what you realize with these people. You realize that they weren't good for you, that they were of sin, and that, you know, you were all naked. Like, it's like all these things started becoming aware. Like, it's like things just started making more and more sense as time went on. It's like you guys just started finding out everything. Yeah, they are scared to love. So these people definitely in the past were scared to love. And that's why they try to make you scared of love. They wanted to put that insecurity onto you. And from now on, from now on, you are moving on from these people. You guys are no longer allowing these people into your life. You guys are definitely choosing to focus on yourselves, your energy, and your own abundant love. And the love from those who genuinely care about you. Yeah, close one, open another. So you guys are definitely closing one door and opening another. And listen to some good music. So music may have been a very big aspect of this shift. Where you guys may have even changed what music you listen to. Alright, on that note, let's look at the self-care oracle. And see what type of self-care can help you move through this shift a bit better. Because you guys have already ended this cycle. Now you guys are just releasing any lingering energy and stepping into something new. Alright, so what self-care can you do at this time for yourself? We have make a meal. It depends on what time it is for you guys. Definitely make yourself a meal. Love yourself in that way. We have massage. Definitely get yourself a massage, either from one of these friends or just giving it to yourself. But definitely a time for a massage, you guys. Massage the hell out of your bodies, all right? You, you deserve that. You deserve to feel good in that way. If you have a massage thingamajig, you can use that too. And we have sync with the moon. So this could be talking about connecting with the moon cycles, seeing how they affect your emotions at certain periods of moon cycles, and allow those periods to boost your energy not take away and we also have movement so get up and move you guys even if it's like five jumping jacks do five jumping jacks all right pile number two i hope that resonated with you 
If it did resonate with you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading or a guidance on reaching your personal goals or life goals, go ahead and look in the description. I will have all the details there. And if you guys would like to donate to the channel, you can go ahead and do so. It is not expected of you. All right, my lovelies, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, pile number three. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So if you chose this beautiful key, let's get on with it. We have the unicorn card. If you're a unicorn card, you have the llama corn. So this is definitely feeling about feeling good about yourself. All right, so let's see. What cycle are you ending? I already hear it. The cycle of not giving yourself enough love. Yep. <laughs> Straight up. Go ahead and make some room. Oh, yep. Not making enough time for yourself is really what I'm getting here. We also have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. So the cycle you are ending is not making enough time for yourself, especially at night. So this may be a situation where at night you guys had a lot of negative energy sitting around. So you guys kind of stayed up at night worrying about that. Or you may have overworked yourself, especially at nighttime. And you guys have been striving to find balance in your life. Yeah, you guys are definitely hard workers with that Seven of Pentacles. You guys work hard all the time. Every time. We have the moon repeating. So you guys do a lot of work at night. You guys may save some work for nighttime. Because you guys are very financially driven. And that is completely okay. Don't feel bad about that with that page or princess of abundance there. And we have a Nine of Pentacles as well. So definitely you guys have worked yourself too freaking hard at nighttime, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. So we just have like, you guys work yourself too much. And that's really what's coming to an end. That's the cycle that is ending. You guys are going to start spending more time with yourself, giving yourself enough self-love here. You guys are no longer going to sit there and choose work over yourself or choose work over your relationships with others. You guys are definitely making the time. You may be changing your sleep schedule because we have the moon repeating. So you may be changing your sleep schedule. You may be keeping an eye on the moon cycles so you're aware of what energy is coming so you can prepare for that energy. You guys are connecting with your unconditional love and you're focusing on yourself because in every single one of these cards, there's only one person in every single card. So you guys are definitely focusing on yourselves, your self-love, what you need. Like You guys are on your game now, but that cycle is definitely coming to an end where you're no longer taking care of yourself. Whew. Yeah, we have forgive, let that stuff go. So this could be due to you guys overworked yourselves because someone in the past may have said something that made you feel lazy and unmotivated. And so you guys took that negative energy and said, oh, watch me. And then ever since then, you guys have been like, watch me, watch me, watch me. And that person is obviously long gone, but you guys still are holding on to the energy. So that's why we have forgive and let that stuff go. That person is gone. The energy is gone. Stop holding on to it, you guys. Allow yourselves to sleep. <laughs> and we have step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like butt. You guys, I'm not even making that up. You can even read that for yourself. That is what it says, you guys. So also being hard on yourself, you guys may have put yourself on a very strict diet. Don't do that to yourself, you guys. No matter how you look, you are beautiful. We literally have your body is pissed at you. So your body is angry at this diet. <laughs> your body's like, no. 
Okay, so I see forgive and let that crap go. We have they broke your heart. So whoever that was, you may have been in a, in a relationship with them. This person may have been extremely unmotivated. Or they could have been those people who were like, oh, look what I do. Oh, I'm like this. Oh, wow, I'm so perfect. Oh, those annoying freaking people. We all have flaws. Those people are annoying. They're called narcissists. So you may have dealt with narcissists in the past. And these narcissists make you feel that you were lazy and unmotivated. But you guys are the most motivated people I've ever freaking seen in your energy. Like this kind of this me doing readings at night feels like your energy where you guys are working at night. This is considered work for me. This is fun as well. But I consider this part of my job because I am trying to send out positive energy for the collective. Sorry, you guys. I'm sending positive energy out for the collective for you guys. So because I take that very, very seriously, you guys. We have, I want to pleasure you. So definitely do things that bring you pleasure. Or there may even be a person out there who wants to, ugh, I am trying. You guys are trying so hard. Slow down. Take a break. Take a breath. Yeah, I care so much. It hurts. You care so much about you know, succeeding, that it's literally hurting you. It's going to be okay. This could also be considered a form of love reading. So if you are in a relationship, this could be this person saying that they are trying, that they want to pleasure you, that they care about you. But if it resonates in the first way I said it, take it that way. And strong vibration. You guys have a very strong vibration that not one freaking person can ever then we have butter pecan i'm gonna be enjoying some butter pecan ice cream after this you guys uh, <laughs> but you guys have a very strong vibration you guys know what you want in life you guys go for it you guys are divine manifestors but you need to take a break you're doing enough and on that note let's go ahead and get into your self-care what this is a self-care oracle so let's see what self-care you can do at this time to smooth you through this cycle we have write a gratitude list all right you guys write some things that you are grateful for even if it's just three things or five things that's actually 55 55 reduces to 10 10 equals to one so even if it's just one thing write down something you're grateful for I love this energy, but definitely get some rest, you guys. You guys need that. And we have movement. So this feels more like in the morning time. When you wake up in the morning, make sure to move. You may already go to the gym, but make sure that ritual for you is something that you enjoy, not something that you feel is hostile. And we also have watch a movie. So definitely take some time to sit down and watch a movie as well. Cuddle up with a pet, with some tea or coffee or just some water, whatever resonates with you. They're actually saying four self-care things here. So that's why I'm trying to see if one more will come out. So split the deck, stop. That's the one sync with the moon so definitely sync with the moon cycles and you have the moon twice here so then we have a look for fairies okay you know those little dandelions that have like white and you can like a blow on them i consider those fairies so i look for them everywhere um but when syncing with the moon what we have here is the universe is saying right now that the reason why you're so synced in with nighttime and working at nighttime is because you are more synced with the moon. So this is about being mindful of the energy of the moon and how it affects your moods so you can better utilize that energy so it doesn't like run your life. Because people who are very sensitive to the moon can sometimes be night owls 
and it's almost like they're calling to the moon and the moon is calling to them. So this is when, even when the moon is calling to you, you have to be mindful to take care of yourself. All right, pile number three, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading or guide us with your life goals or even personal goals, I will have those links in the description. And if you would like to donate to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated, though it is not expected of you, um, but it, I would love that. So I love you all and have a good rest of your night. Bye.